Welcome back to Ready, Set, Sold. I'm your host, Brian Vogt. Hopefully, everybody's bracing for the potential, and I do say the potential weather that we're supposed to be having this. Actually, Sunday is supposed to hit, so we'll, we'll see what happens, but hopefully it won't be so bad that people can get around and houses can be shown and all good things happen. We talked on the last segment about the importance of understanding the agent that you pick, that they have had experience in selling in the winter months. And we're going to go a little bit more in depth on that. And here's some tips that we can talk about that I think will be helpful to keep in mind when you are selling in the winter months, especially and especially if the weather changes. We don't get that bad of weather. We really don't. And maybe the reason why I say we don't is is we really talk about it a lot if we do get the bad weather. I, I've grown and raised in the Metro East. So, yes, I've seen, I've seen the ice before, and I've seen, you know, the 18 inches of snow that we had. I think it was in the early 80s. I remember that. And some other bad things. But, again, it's not a, usually a regular occurrence. So that's a good thing. But with that said, there are some things that you can do if you're selling in the winter months if you do have – bad weather hitting you. Now, first, let me talk about bad weather. And I'm talking about if you have ice, if you have tremendous amounts of snow, and I I mentioned 18 inches or something extreme, that is going to have an effect. That is going to be a factor. But it's not going to be usually a determining factor of the sale of your home. That's important to understand because so many, so many times I've heard agents, unfortunately, again, this may be the inexperience or just lack of knowledge, that will blame a cold spell for why your house isn't being shown or it isn't being sold. That's typically not the situation. There's something else going on that you and your agent need to have a discussion about. Look, it's winter time. It comes every year. And, yes, it does get cold. But guess what? Buyers still buy homes in the wintertime, as they do in the springtime and the summertime. But one of the things, the reason why they don't buy as many is, quite frankly, and this is a professional opinion, there isn't many houses on the market. So you can't, you can't buy what's not on the market. So that's important to understand. Also, if there is inclement weather, so let's kind of go back into that. If there's inclement weather, things that you can do. First off, if you're selling your home, have a neighbor or have a plan, a simple plan, if you get three or four inches of snow, to make sure the sidewalks are taken care of, make sure the driveway is cleared off. And you want to get that done as soon as possible for two reasons. Number one, there's convenience, just convenience for the buyers to be able to come in and walk through. And that's a good thing, just having that, having it done, having the neighbors, you know, kind of look at you in envy. But the other reason why, and and there's a safety factor that comes into play, and you don't want people walking through and possibly slipping. But the third reason, which is maybe the most important one, is it lets the buyers know that this is no big deal. That if snow comes, that the driveway is already taken care of, that the sidewalk is already swept off, and that if the snow comes, it's not going to be a big deal for them either. Perception is reality in this business. And the perception is is that, guess what? If you've got it done, it's not going to take them anything to get it done. So that's, that's the first reason why. Uh, th- th- those are the reasons why. <laughs> ice, though. Ice is probably the big one that you have to be a little bit careful with. Now, we've not really had any issues with it. We've had people slip and fall. But ice will probably keep fires away. It's just it's a safety factor. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing because, let's face it, uh, there is some element of risk if somebody does fall and get hurt. To my knowledge, when I talk with insurance agents, they probably go on your your, your homeowner's policy if that would happen. It's extremely rare because usually if there is any bit of ice, you're probably not going to have any showings until that melts anyway. So there's not too much to do about that. But, again, it doesn't usually stay around. We've seen situations where, yes, we've had ice, but within a day or two it's gone, and the buyers are coming right back in. So, again, inclement weather does happen, but it shouldn't be the factor of why your house doesn't sell during the winter months. 
Another thing to keep in mind is if you have a traditionally long driveway, if you have something, maybe you're out in the country, a little more out in the country, maybe you're, you're, you're local, you know, Fallon, Chow, Edwardsville, your Sky Air Force Base, Belleville, Bell, et cetera, in the Metro East, guess what? If you have a longer driveway, you really want to make sure that that's taken care of. Because, again, if they're driving through three or four inches of snow to get to your house, um, there is a factor that every buyer goes through when they're looking at your house. And that is not only looking at the value, what your house has to offer, but they're always either consciously or subconsciously thinking about what it's going to cost to maintain. So if they're thinking they're going to have to buy a snow plow or have to get something extra, that's a cost that sometimes they will add on to or take off on if they do make an offer. And that could be a considerable amount of money. So one of the ways you can do this, and this is a tip that we've seen have pretty good success from sellers that have those situations, and it doesn't have to be a long driveway, by the way, and that is if you have a plow or if you have a snow snow blower, and when I say plow, usually on a riding lawnmower, is to add that in to the sale. We're talking about the winter months, but this, this, this could be done during any time of the year. Again, remember, this is a five-year-old riding lawnmower and a plow that maybe is five years old also. Buyers aren't thinking about buying used lawnmowers when they're buying their house. They're, telling, they're thinking about spending five or six thousand dollars where you have a value of maybe that lawnmower is a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. But that can add additional value and take away any negatives that maybe your house may be perceived to have. So we've had people have great success by doing that. Again, anytime you can add value to your house, it's a great thing in the buyer's mind. People love free. And so, again, as I mentioned before, we've seen people do that, and buyers just get tickled pink. And it's one less thing they have to worry about when they're looking to purchase a home, and in particular, your home. So kind of to recap what we talked about, if there is a ice, yes, ice is definitely going to limit it. We're talking about some ice this weekend, so actually we – shut down some open houses that we were thinking about doing uh, just because of that. Also is is if you do have inclement weather, to make sure you have a game plan. If there's snow comes down, you get that done very, very quickly. To have it done, put the salt down, whatever you normally would do, it's a great way then to, again, get the perception that if you can get it done, especially quickly, again, not waiting two or three days down the road, but getting it done quickly, You'll never know when that showing may come up. It impresses them that they can do it. If you can do it, they can do it. So keep that in mind. Just those simple tips can make a big difference when it comes to selling your house in the winter times if inclement weather comes. Cold, uh, one last real brief thing in. Cold doesn't usually have much of a factor. Not saying that, yes, if it's, you know, five below and 20 below wind chill factors, that won't have some effect. But you'd be surprised when you have your house priced for location, you've done the things you needed, the updates. You'd be surprised how many buyers will come out and they'll brave it because they're looking to buy a house. With that said, in the next segment, we're going to talk success stories about people that have listed their home in the wintertime and had great success in getting top tower and fast sale. I'm your host, Brian Boat. We'll see you in a few. Bye-bye. 